Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Smashing through a couple of videos today because I fly out tomorrow at fucking 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever it is. And right now it's 2 p.m., give or take. Last night, off camera, I got my new relay box wired up. So let's set this up. So, hope you guys can see that. So this came completely unassembled. You have to wire everything in. As you can see here, I've got all my wires. Uh, it's, it's mountable in the engine bay if you want, so it all comes with all this waterproofing. Um, if I get a couple of these out of the way. So I have wired these relatively neatly, cable tied everything so it's all nice and neat. Um, cord everything up so that it can go out to where it needs to go. I've got my big power feed here and then screw these tabs on I found a spot under the dash where I'm going to screw it up to so that's what I'm going to do uh, I won't set the camera up for that you guys don't need to see me do that but and then I can start to run some wires to where they need to go uh, so essentially what you're just getting in front of here again this one's going to be the main relay so this will turn on the ECU which then also in turn powers the rest of these so ECU injector, uh, sorry, coils bank one, coils bank two, injectors, and then uh, 12 volt sensors out in the engine bay, and then anything running 12 volt inside the car. So that's how I've done that. I will get little labels and put them on. Um, it, it's gonna be nice and hidden, but yeah, I'm gonna get to mounting that. And then once it's screwed in, I'll hopefully be able to show you guys. So we'll cut back there. So got it mounted. Let's uh, jump in under the car. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. Um, yeah. so get my light down. All right, so I got it mounted up there. See the cables on that side. We're all just run off down that way. And then these ones just here, the light is circling on, if you can see that. We'll go down to the ECU and out into the cabin. Which makes it nice and easy. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, get this light into a good spot. I think kind of there. So these will continue running up this way. I'll probably um, P clamp it into here so that they come down here and then run nicely down here. And these ones will be the same, I'll p-clamp them up there. So then there'll be no wiring at all visible. This is nice up here. It's got a nice cover as well. So this is all hidden. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll stay nice and tight and won't fall down, they shouldn't do. But that's that bit done. Um, I'm also gonna look at mounting my coils in their spots so get that all kind of placed or drill the holes put the nut certs in there bolt them in and that should be that bit done so i'm gonna have a look at that i'll suss it out off camera and then when i do it i'll probably set the tripod up for you guys all right so i got one mounted i just wanted to draw it off camera just so i could see how this uh that kit works and whatnot so that one's down there i reckon it's going to be nice and out of the way hopefully now i'm just going to do this one over here so uh for this one i probably will set up the tripod and probably time lapse it but uh yeah that one's in and nice so yeah let's get on to the next one So I got this side all drilled out, nut serted. I 100% advise using these if you haven't even mount something inside the car, outside, whatever. See we're just sitting there, all nice, ready to go. Now this bit's a bit cunny, getting the, um, the bolts in where we've ever, where everything's located. So I'll time lapse it. Uh, you guys don't need to see it in real time because it'll be painful and long. But 
anyway, let's get on with it. And there we have it. Both sides are mounted in. Uh, let's change All right, that might be a bit better. But there it is. That side's mounted there. That side's mounted there. Now I might run this harness through here. And um, so I can just unplug that there. I don't have anything running across and behind. I'm not sure yet. This one here, harness is up here. It can just plug in there and then run into the cabin um yeah i'm pretty happy with that i'm just i've got a little thing for um heat ship that's gonna just go up on the side be going up there i've got some um heat protective wrap type thing that i'm gonna put on that as well just because that's where the dump will be going and possibly an exhaust manifold might be close to that. I might end up doing the same for this side as well, just for the exhaust manifold. Um, I'm not really too sure till I get the motor sitting in there with the heads on and then the exhaust manifolds on, start to mock up the dump. But I'll probably get these bits cut, pre-made. Um, I'll probably do the same thing. I'll drill in the side, not insert them in so that I can just unbolt and bolt them on easily. But I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty successful. Little last event for the car before I go back to work. New Relo fuse box in. I'm not gonna worry about that wiring on camera. I'm just gonna do that all off camera. Not sure if I do it today or not, but that in as well. So, sorry it was another short video, but I had to try to do something that was some kind of content. But anyway. As per usual, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys hopefully next week with another video. Righto, so got them all mounted. That one's mounted there. This one's mounted there. Made up a little heat shield as well, had a proper heat shield material. Might not look the best like this, but once the engine's in, you won't really see it. But anyway, they're all rib nutted in, mounted. This one here is using the two factory bolt holes there. Um, cable tied at the top just so they won't flap about because that would be annoying and then once I've made the leads and we'll see how they sit on top and if I need to adjust that but for now that'll do but uh, this is where I'm going to end this video I gotta go in there and edit it get it all done before I fly out tomorrow and somehow still make another video I don't know what I'm gonna make it on but anyway um, yeah, if you're still here, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.